I'm going to go through a very basic setup here. You'll probably want to come back to this after you've played the guitar for a little while and make further adjustments. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make sure the guitar's in tune. We need the correct amount of tension on the neck. It's also important you do a setup in the correct order. You wouldn't want to adjust your intonation before we're making major changes to the neck like this. Okay, so the way to check the amount of neck relief you have, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can run a steel rule between the D and G strings. But perhaps a more intuitive way to do it is just to fret at the first fret and the last fret and then tap down. Tap down the 12th fret. And you can see we've got Got some movement there. If it wasn't able to be moved down at all, if it was laying flat, we'd need to introduce more relief to the neck. I'm gonna introduce a little bit more relief to this neck. Now obviously if the action was too high, we'd need to flatten the neck out. So the way to adjust the straightness of the neck is to use your Allen key that's included in your packaging. You'll probably find that in the same bag as your cable. And as I said, because I wanna introduce more relief to this neck, it's a little too flat. I'm gonna to wanna to turn this counterclockwise. I'm gonna just turn it about an eighth of a turn to start. So just work in small increments. I also want to just check the tuning again too. So now when I, okay, there's a little more clearance there. So you'd adjust that as per your preferences. The next thing we want to look at is the action, which is the height of the strings from the fretboard. If you're not sure, uh, you're not sure a good starting point, I would suggest 2.4 mil on the low E measured at the 12th fret and 1.6 on the high E measured at the 12th fret. Now the way to measure that is just use a steel ruler or a string action ruler like this one. And you want to put the ruler on top of the fret and you're measuring from the top of the fret to the underside of the string. If you wanted to make adjustments, you would turn the, the post at the bridge here. This is how you'd adjust action on a tunematic bridge like this. Now you would turn this, just make small adjustments as well. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is check the intonation. So intonation is essentially making sure the guitar is in tune with itself. So if you look at the bridge here, you'll see it's on an angle. Now it's angled to compensate for the additional mass of these strings. Now we can make further minor adjustments by adjusting these individual saddles on the bridge itself. So to check intonation, first we want to make sure we're in tune again. Okay, now I check at the 12th fret and octave up. Just make sure you're hitting that string with the same attack as you're hitting the open string. As you can see, we're just a little sharp. So if you're a little sharp, what you need to do is increase the vibrating length or the scale length of that string. So you'll see here, I've got intonation screws, intonation adjustment screws. So we'll just turn that counterclockwise to push that saddle further back and that would increase the length of the string. Now, the first point of contact for the strings is the saddle and then the nut. So the scale length is measured between those two. So we've just increased the length of that string. Now I'll just get in tune again. So we'll bring the camera around now. You can see we're just still a little bit sharp, so I'd still need to adjust that a little bit further. Now the last thing I would check is pickup height. And again, this is fairly subjective. It depends on what you're hearing really, but a good starting point is about 2.4 mil on the bass side and about two mil on the treble side. Now the way you check this, you actually fret the last fret on the neck and you're measuring from, from the actual individual pole pieces to the underside of the string this time. So you can see that's, that's a way too high. So I'm gonna bring that down. You just adjust at the mounting screws. You've gotta get the balance right between those two screws just to make sure that sure the pickup will sit flat also. So if one's a little bit loose and one's not, you're going to find that that won't sit flat. And again, just get down to eye level, fret at the last fret. And you're looking for 2.4 from the magnet to the underside of the string. That's pretty much how you would go about doing a basic setup. As I said, you'll probably want to come back and make more adjustments after you become more accustomed to the guitar and the neck after playing it for a while. But um, yeah, from here, we're going to test the guitar. So unfortunately I'm left handed so it's a little difficult for me to do a thorough demonstration of the sound of the guitar but we will just check the pickups quickly. Okay so just checking bridge position, oh, bridge volume is working, you can hear our tone changing there. So middle position which is a combination of both humbuckers. 
thing I would do is turn a guitar as loud as possible on your volume and just take your hands away from the guitar. Now hopefully you're not hearing any electrical interference or hum. This guitar is fairly silent which is good. Now if you did hear any interference or hum what you're probably looking at is an issue with your ground circuit. So I would go back into the electronics cavity and just have a look at those black wires we soldered up earlier. You may find one's gotten loose or there's a loose connection somewhere. Okay, and the last thing I would do is just check the neck itself. So I'd play up and down the neck, play each string, play each fret, all the way up and down the neck. And what you're looking for there is any signs of fret bars or any dead notes. And if you do come across anything like that, you know you can then adjust the amount of neck relief or adjust the action to try and counter that. Okay, so that's the end of the project. I hope you've enjoyed building your guitar as much as I have. Thanks for watching.